up, Whitey Nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89. Today's Maga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for We Never Learn Chapter 124. So it really seems like this manga is going to be ending soon because the last time I covered this manga, um, there was a there was a couple of lines in particular that really hinted that we're getting into the final arc with this final exam, but I could be wrong. Let's get to this chapter and see what happens next. The center exam approaches. Self-study room. Uh, this... Um, uh, center exam is in, uh, 16 days. Uh, near Yuki-san, uh, it is great that Iru or, um, to shoot is, uh, um, Kamichi-don, uh, conjugation verb, right? Um, uh, but that basically is verbs that only have, uh, one phrase of change and focus specialties on Iru, uh, derivatives. Uh, right, Okada, for, uh, Kamichi-don, just remember the, the phrase, uh, uh, hi, I, ki, ni, ni, we, ru, and in chapter 124 is titled, A Change in the, um, uh, the genius's appearance uh, can sometimes lead to progress in X. Is something the matter, Nariyuki-san? Uh, uh, have you changed recently? Ah, oh, your hairstyle. Could it be your hairstyle? You started parting your hair. That is correct. It is much easier uh, to concentrate on studying this way. Oh, I see. What a nice change. 12.5%. Hmm? Regarding your answer for the question, um, have you changed recently? You are 12.5% correct. Uh, uh, please try and get uh, the remaining 87.5%. Five percent, huh? What? Uh, but it may be difficult for you. You are quite the slow folk, after all, there, Yuki-san. Bring it on, then. Oh God, I'll get everything correct. Oh no, that is the spirit, there, Yuki-san. It seems like a lot of places aren't open. It's still not even three days into the new year, after all. If there's a chance, it'd be great if a cheap place was open. But unfortunately, we do not have any stock of udon today either. We really should not be out of stock. Um, and it says there's uh, a pun on uh, uh, Tommy Gear, which can mean out of ammo or out of noodle uh, proportions. Uh, as I thought, uh, ever since Christmas, Ogata has been giving off a different vibe. Um, her demeanor has become much more carefree, and she seems to smile more often. Um, I uh, was really worried in more ways than one, but I'm relieved to see her so energetic. Ah! Whoa, Ogata, what are you? What are you? Are you Kisan? Let us do some. <laughs> right there what do you say all of a sudden this is something to scoff at what are you so shaken up for um oh, she pounding participants it's a new year mochi pounding event oh god oh gosh it's been a dream of mine to do mochi pounding with someone um it, it's a put on uh sukiya uh sukiya which can mean to go out on a date with to thrust it a lot more oh god what was up with that wording oh, yeah we got wordings I swear to God, I'm, I'm having something to do with this. This is my doing. Because I've been saying wordings and I've been saying phrasing on my channel for a long time now. I swear to God, the manga cause watch are watching my videos and are, are adding wordings and phrasing <laughs> to manga. It's a manga conspiracy. Oh gosh. Why am I not getting paid more, God damn it? Huh? What's that pink smell? It's, uh, cit it's citrusy, refreshing, and smells nice. Oh God, are you perhaps wearing perfume? You, you are now 25% correct. It is said that the scent has uh, relaxing properties, also, and it also helps with memory improvement. <laughs> you sure are passionate about studying. Um, nice, got it right. Now that uh, now that you mention it, it does calm me down. Just say that you like this, and I will make sure that this is done when, whenever it is, just the two of us. Uh, I like this quite a bit. Uh, there's a pun in Rizu, Rizu's line here where uh, um, uh, Zucaro can mean to put on perfume or to accompany. You're talking about perfume here, right? Right. Uh, uh, right? Well, then let, let us get pounding. You're talking about the mochi, right? Right? <laughs> God, fuckers. Ah, oh, the phrasing. Oh, God. Uh, um, how shameful. Uh, how weak are you? I'm in no position to say this, but how about you let me take over? No. Um, if you do, uh, do not mind, could you? There we go. What the? We're so close here, and all these people staring hurt so much. I'm deeply moved now, Yuki-san. One of my dreams has come true. Well, if this makes Ogata happy, but even if that's the case, oh, she smells nice. It sure is tough to find a place where I can look. <laughs> She's fucking staring at this. It's like the coat doesn't even matter. Uh, huh? A manicure? That's a pretty shade of blue. You are now 
99.5% correct. In other words, it is said that the color blue improves your focus psychology-wise. So putting blue colors, um, putting blue color on your fingers, which are easily in one's line of sight when studying, is something I would say is quite logical. I see. So there are all sorts of things uh, closely related to studying. You sure taught me. Hmm? Well, even though they were in my line of sight, I couldn't focus at all. Yeah, you kind of can't focus with those huge bazongas in the way. Close contact, boing, boing. Um, what you mean, made our a cell sure is delicious. If we had udon in here, then this would be perfect. Phew, I'm all warmed up. Actually, I'd say I'm burning up. It is true that the mochi pounding from earlier gave us quite the workout. Now, Yuki-san, if you do not wipe off your sweat, you will catch a cold, you know. Uh, right, thanks, Ogata. Uh, a necklace. Uh, you've never worn one before, right? Correct, now you are 50% correct. All right. Staring at boobs made <laughs> actually help this time um it is actually a, mag a magnetic necklace oh i can't wear that shit magnetic jewel oh my god um, uh, my skin is allergic to that shit so there is a, uh, this was like when i was um i want to say i was 13 at the time yeah i was in eighth grade and i wore i was magnetic jewelry was in and i was i wore my you know my regular earrings and i wore my ma magnetic earrings on top of that and i remember like what am I magnetic? Like one day I'm, you know, wearing my earrings and my magnetic earring like went straight through my fucking ear. The whole thing went straight through my fucking ear. My ears are, my body is extremely sensitive. It like totally fucking rejected that shit. It was insane. But anyway, um, I, yeah, I can't wear magnetic. It's hard for me to wear like magnetic jewelry and stuff for that kind of, uh, kind of reason. And it has the effect of relieving shoulder uh, pain from studying. Wait, what? That ain't fair. I can't wear magnetic jewelry. That's not fair. I knew it was another thing to help with studying. What a wide variety. Now, how was I today? How, huh? Um, I think it's admirable that you're passionate about studying. Is that all? You're too, you're too close. You've been really close to me since earlier, Okada. Is that all? Well, you're more girlish compared to before, or rather you've gotten pretty, I mean. You got pretty, I mean. Seriously? Of course it's going to be nerve-wracking if you're being approached like this, right? So stop doing stuff like this without thinking, okay? I see. You've taught me something new. Well then, it is time for us to return. Um, what? Come on, time to get going. Studying awaits us. Uh, on, a, on the topic of what's changed about you, can I confirm the remaining 50%? That question? Uh, wait, that question? It has already ended. Say what? Hey, hey, that's awful. You can't just ha end it halfway. At least give me a hint. Um, I told you the question has ended because you have answered the entire question correctly. It is true that 50% of uh, the answers are physical changes that revolve around studying. You're more girlish than uh, compared to before. Or rather, um, you've gotten pretty, uh, uh, pretty I mean, while the other 50% is, if I have to say what you're being a slowpoke with, I would say it is about the changes in my feelings. <laughs> you, if the cuckoo doesn't, um, does, uh, does not say sing make it sing oh god arizu is serious oh she's uh and and what this is i really like this translation note here um this is a japanese poem um referring to the three warlords back in uh sengoku era um oda hideyoshi and um yasu and uh the, their uh demeanor toward how uh, they deal with situations uh the poem is refer referring to hideyoshi where he'd force the bird to sing oda would kill the bird while um yasu would wait for it to sing Dude, oh, Ogata is getting, starting to make some progress. Woo! Ogata, the next chapter, Mizuki finally takes the lead role. Her love for Onichan won't be, oh no, we got a Brocon chapter next chapter. Oh God. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What'd you guys think of this chapter? This chapter was great. I fucking love Rizu. <laughs> okay, Ogata, you dumbass. Oh God. Like, dude, poor Nero, Nero Yuki was getting, well, you gotta admit, Nero Yuki was enjoying the view. Like, the majority of us would be enjoying a goddess taste. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nero Kinzig. If you love what I'm doing, I want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more. Um, we never learn content. There's a few ways you could do that. You can donate to my PayPal, Patreon, go me, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you, uh... Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later.